Greetings, uh, Office Admin people. Today we're going to focus on the data entry for Column 1. And uh, this is going to be just a very short video. When we talk about Column 1, what we're really talking about is a report that is the, the end objective. We're doing everything to produce this report, which is useful in accreditation. And when we talk about Column 1, it would be this column where we're stating the objectives. What kinds of things do we expect our students to learn throughout the course? Now, you can see that there are other columns that we're going to be working with, but right now we're only focusing on column one. Now, one other little point that might be confusing. If you take this particular uh, uh, graph here and, or uh, table and turn it on its side, and through the miracle of modern television, I've done just that. I've turned it on its side. You'll see that that column one is now across the top here. This is kind of how we are going to view it in the system. We're going to open up a screen where you're going to see an empty space to fill in. And you're going to ignore these other columns that are going to appear uh, down the, the row here, and we're just going to concentrate today on filling in the objectives. What is column one? It's the objectives that we teach in the course, and so we're going to focus on that. Okay, so how do you get started? You're going to go to the My Southwest system and log in. Once you log in, you probably see a variety of icons. Some of your icons are going to look like mine and some will not. Okay? I want to point out a very uh, important distinction. Down here towards the bottom, you're going to see an SLO icon. Right now, we are not working on SLOs. We are instead working on the reporting aspect. So see the blue R? behind this icon. Now it's also possible that you see two icons and you'll notice that one says faculty and one says department chair. You're going to work with the one that says faculty. So again the SLOR or we refer to this as slower icon for faculty and I want you to click on that. Now once we enter this screen everyone's screen will look slightly different. Um, because everybody will be a lead faculty, I believe what you call an academic partner, uh, for different courses. Okay, now, our department's been doing this a little bit longer, but notice that this says for the 2011-2012 year. In other words, we're finalizing a report that was generated based on uh, student activity last year. We can't do it for this year because all the tests are not complete for this year. So we're closing the loop, we're finalizing the report for last year. That's what we're working on. Okay, find the most current year that you see listed and under where it says course total, I want you to click on the number, whatever number you see there. If you're the lead faculty for only one course, you would see the number one. I'm going to go back, see how I'm going to click instructor page. If you're the lead faculty, the academic partner for only one class, you will see the number one. If you have, and some of you do, have ten classes maybe that you're the academic partner, well, you'll see the number ten there. So this will be different for each person. If you are not the lead faculty or the academic partner for any uh, courses, then you will, the role that you play in the uh, course will actually not use the computer. You may collaborate with academic partners, a la lead faculty, okay, uh, but you will not have a role in the data entry. Only academic partners, what we call lead faculty, will enter data into the system. Okay, for the four courses that I'm responsible for, some of these courses um, are using the online assessment the SLO system. Those will appear here, assessed. Other courses are not using the system. They'll appear as not assessed. Um, well, really, you probably need to do this for all of them, but I'm going to focus on the assessed courses for the moment. So let me focus on this very last course in my list. Your list of courses, as I said, will be different. And notice that for each class there are five 
objectives, right? And we have to talk about each objective. So as I demonstrate the process, you're going to repeat the process five times. It may sound repetitive now, but this uh, initial startup work is going to carry over to future semesters, and it's really going to help you a lot. Okay. Underneath the first objective, SLO1, do you see the numbers? You're always clicking the numbers. You're never clicking up here. You're clicking the numbers. And what this indicates to me on this very last uh, course is that I have completed columns 1, 2, and 4 of the four-column report. This is actually perfect because since I'm using the online assessment tool, um, column 3 is automatically completed. I don't even have to finish that. In my courses that are not assessed, well, I've entered in something in column 1 that are not automatically assessed, I should say. Okay, enough overview. Let's get started. You will see a 0 in this field. Okay, you're going to see a 0. Just like in these courses, it shows 0. You're going to click the 0 that you see there. Now, let's recall that of this four-column model, remember how it was turned uh, and went across? You are about to fill in the very first objective. Okay, so let's go back to that. In this particular course, what I require, no matter how many sections of this course are taught, my objective is that students will be able to differentiate between different leadership styles. Now, obviously, this is a little vague. Maybe I could do better, but you're going to have objectives that <clears throat> you have all agreed on. They are listed in your syllabus. If they're not, they should be. Um, and uh, this is what you're going to assess. Now, you can already kind of look ahead and see that um, that there, there are other things that we're going to fill out. But we're not going to work on, focus on anything other than column one right now, which is entering your objective. So you're going to type something in there. You're going to forget about all this other stuff, and you're going to scroll all the way down to the bottom, and you're going to click Save. You'll be returned to this screen. Maybe so that I can show you on a uh, one that hasn't been touched yet. See the zero here? Well. I'm going to click on that zero. I'm going to come in here. Uh, this is a course, actually, that we have uh, submitted for termination. Uh, but if I had an objective for this, uh, I'll just make something up. Uh, students will be able to um, identify three characteristics of uh, Automa automated uh, check processing. I don't know. You get the idea, right? Now, again, just don't even pay attention. We're going to talk about all the rest of this stuff later. I'm not worried about it right now. Come down and click on Save. And do you see how now it has the number 1 there? Indicating that I have completed the objective. Do that for however many courses you've been assigned and for each of the five objectives. Now, that information will roll forward from semester to semester, from year to year as we do this report. You will always have the ability to come back in and change that. Sometimes objectives for courses do change. You change textbooks. You decide technology has uh, changed in a way that requires you to emphasize uh, you know, a new concept. Uh, but for right now, you're going to each of the courses for which you are assigned, and you're entering in only that very top box. So again, I would go now to the next objective. I would type in something. This is for objective number three. I would come down to the bottom. I would save that. Of course, I don't have anything in here whatsoever. I would save that, and I would see the number one there when I'm done. If you can do that uh, prior to our meeting, you will have uh, really accomplished a lot. And I think this task is going to go uh, much easier. And at the end, remember that we're going to end up producing this report uh, that is really just going to simplify your life as we enter into various uh, accreditation processes. OK, thank you very much. I hope that's uh, very clear. Uh, you know, you can. There's a log out button over here. You can log out uh, after you're done, and, uh, and that's it. Thank you. Very